thank you so much for this opportunity. We are representing IADS, International Association of Dental Students, and we would like to make you some questions regarding DST. Uh, you are one of the best and well-known dentists in the world right now. So could you tell us about your professional path since your graduation until now? Okay, uh, it was a different path uh, because when I entered dental school, uh, my whole family is in dentistry. So my father, my grandfather uh, are dentists and uh, I entered dental school and by suggestion of my father, he told me uh, I could become also a dental technician. So during dental school, I also did the technology course and I actually finished dental technology first so during the last few years of dental school I was uh, already working as a technician for my father and then for other guys and then uh, when I finished dental school I was uh, in, I just kept uh, working as a technician uh, so I was never a conventional dentist I, I never worked as a conventional clinical dentist I was always working as a technician with the clinical background and interacting with dentists uh, and with the patient having this uh, this vision from the lab. Uh, through my work as a technician I was able to start to work with uh, well-known dentists outside Brazil so I moved in 2004 I moved from Brazil to US uh, I worked as uh, the head ceramist uh, of the in-house lab of Team Atlanta in Atlanta with Dr. Goldstein, Garber and Salama and then uh, after that I started to work with some well-known uh, dentists in Europe uh, but always as a, I would say uh, a smile designer that was my goal to uh, become a mix of technician and dentist uh, but be part of the smile design project so I was not only doing the ceramic work but also treatment planning the case with the dentist designing the case and also interacting with the patient so uh, different roles uh, and also documenting the case so we were always working a lot with pictures and videos and documenting the case putting lectures together for these dentists um, and that also helped me a lot to, to start uh, uh, utilizing the slide presentation software to design my cases that was the, the birth of the, the DSD concept Okay, so you talked us about uh, DSD and uh, digital smile design is actually a new concept for modern dentistry. Can you tell to our IEDS viewers a little bit more about the, the history behind it? Uh, DSD was, uh, was created uh, initially as a simple technical tool to help us uh, as a technician myself to design better my cases but most of all to express my thinking process to the dentist. So I wanted to be part of the treatment planning team. As a technician I didn't want to be only at the end building ceramics after the whole treatment was designed and planned and performed. I wanted to be part of the beginning of the process. Uh, so I started to use photos uh, and drawings on top of the photos to express to the dentist what I, my vision of the treatment. And I was providing these dentists not only with the diagnostic wax, but with this extra product that were the slides with the drawings. Uh, and then with these slides, I was helping them to make better treatment planning decisions and to present these slides to the patient to increase the education of the patient. So, as we saw that this was very powerful, we started to improve this protocol and create a more systematic, organized protocol uh, of how to create the images, on how to make the drawings, on how to link the drawings to the actual uh, model work, lab work, wax ups, and then that was the way uh, the whole DSD concept uh, started. Okay, thank you. Um, this is the first time that uh, DSD has done a world tour, that's right. So, how is it going and what are your perspectives uh, for this world tour? Yeah, since uh, we developed the concept uh, seven, eight years ago, we started immediately to do hands-on courses. So, during these seven years, we were able to achieve some very uh, impressive numbers that we never thought at the beginning we could achieve. Uh, for example, during these seven years, we have more than 10,000 professionals that did this course. Um, 
we have covered more than 140 cities over uh, 65 countries I believe and um, so the hands-on the DSD hands-on course has been uh, happening happening for uh, for many years since last year we, we, we saw the, the, the chance and the possibility of making it even better so uh, quintessence company the most well-known publishing company in dentistry they partnered up with us to organize a world tour or bring the tour to the next level improving the organization the layout the projections the the social events around it, uh, allowing us to deliver the message even better. So uh, we launched uh, uh, this year this new DSD Quintessence World Tour that uh, we started uh, officially in Abu Dhabi last month and then today starting in Barcelona that is actually uh, the official opening of the tour. And from now on we have uh, we're going to cover 20 cities on the whole year of 2015 and our idea is to have this repeating in 16 and 17. Uh, many cities are already closing this uh, for the following year and we're going to cover all five continents uh, in a couple uh, next month we will have Istanbul and then Croatia and then from now on uh, going to the other continents. So it's very exciting because we have the possibility to share this concept with a bigger amount of people from all over the world and we always meet great people uh, and we always get great feedback that makes this concept even better. Thank you. Um, we would like to thank you for the opportunity uh, of IADS members to be present and participate in this DSD World Tour. And uh, we would like to ask you, uh, what do you think about this collaboration between DSD and IADS and how, what can we expect and what can we do to, de to develop it in the next I, I'm particularly, personally, very excited with this partnership because uh, we've been dealing, first of all, our career in dentistry was always related to the high-end, already very successful dentists. We started from there. And then we were able, through the tour, to start to bring this to the general dentist, to the normal dentist. That was our goal and we already uh, achieved that through the tour. Our next goal is to bring that to the dental students. We want, this is our focus now. So we've been making connections and lectures and partnerships with universities and dental schools because we believe the concept is very powerful uh, to be used in the education of the students. Undergrad and postgrad students can be really benefit from the DSD concept and more than that these young uh, students they have an immediate connection with the concept for them it's much easier to understand the concept implement the concept and bring and make this concept uh, uh, their reality and their uh, normal way to do things so I'm very happy with this partnership with IADS uh, because it was the beginning of this process and I'm ha very happy to have IADS participants here on this tour opening uh, in Barcelona and I hope with this scholarship and this partnership we can give opportunity for more and more students to participate so whatever idea that people are bringing to us to improve or to bring DSD to students, we are completely open. And we want to improve this partnership and create new possibilities to uh, like online lectures, uh, um, like uh, tutorial videos, uh, supporting the, the professors in dental schools to bring the DSD to their reality. So I'm very excited, I'm very grateful that you guys are here and I hope that we can take this to the next level. And to finish, uh, we would like uh, to hear your advices for the dental students and young dentists worldwide. Uh, what do you think they should do to achieve uh, personal and professional success? Personal and? professional and professional success wow that's uh, of course uh, being excited about 
the key is all, always to find a way to be passionate about your profession. Uh, that's the first thing, you know. When you see students that are passionate about the profession, you can immediately understand that some way they will become successful. Um, now, when you have the passion, you have to get the next step. And I think, uh, of course, uh, starting to participate on dental events, conferences, congresses, understanding which ones are the best ones, and being part of it as a student can start opening your mind. But I think the main message is that uh, people that really evolve in a profession are the ones that can find a mentor. So my main suggestion is find that person that somehow, as a student, as a young, uh, recently graduated dentist, you can look for the mentor, look for the guy that is really inspiring you. Go after him, talk to him. Show them, show to this guy that you really love what you do and that you can be helpful. Find something that you can actually uh, help this mentor. So when you, when the mentor, when the professor, when they see that they can actually have a young guy helping him some way, he will open all the doors, he will create the connection and then just sit with this person and learn. And, and this is the easiest way, this is the f fast track, this is the shortcut for success. Finding the mentor, bringing something to the table, giving something back, for example, and uh, usually the DSD can be a very good channel because many busy, successful dentists, they don't have the time to implement DSD, for example. So if you know the, the concept and you know how to help this successful dentist even more through the concept, you can offer yourself, look, I'm here, just uh, I will come, I will help you with this, this and that, any part of the smile design process. And uh, by helping them, they will start giving you the information, allowing you to watch them over the shoulder, uh, and then you will definitely uh, complement your education from school through this mentorship. I think that's the, the, the best way to improve uh, in a very fast way. Thank you so much, Dr. Christian. We wish you the best for you and for ESD. Thank you guys for coming. Great pleasure.